making progress in the Golden Ray removal efforts while focusing on the environmental impact. This video shared by the St. Simon Sound Incident Response shows responders releasing a rehabilitated laughing gull. That bird was found in an oil collection device. News for Jacks reporter Brittany Muller spoke with the Coast Guard on what's happening now in the removal process. That's the sound of a chain ripping through solid steel of the Golden Ray. This practice of using a chain is nothing new. What truly makes this response unique and different is that this particular ship uh, lies in a environmentally sensitive body of water and it's right next to a, uh, a vital shipping channel for the state of Georgia. U.S. Coast Guard Petty Officer Michael Heim says another section of the shipwreck is on a barge making its way to a Louisiana recycling plant. While crews here place new cutting chain into the groove. Jaw-dropping video that went viral on social media shows cars and decks tumbling down after one of the first few cuts right onto the seafloor. We anticipate the majority of it being removed after the wreck has been removed. Heim says the cars are sitting in the protection barrier. Teams on the water and shoreline are monitoring and recovering debris. All pieces of black plastic, vehicle parts, uh, bumpers. And because the Port of Brunswick has some of the highest tide ranges on the East Coast, lots of water moves in and out daily. So crews are monitoring for any oil that escapes the protection barrier. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station.